y'all. Welcome back. I'm back in it with a mod review today. And I have my favorite sim to do reviews with, Miss Magnus. And I really don't know why there's a bunny in the background, but it's super cute so it can stay. I don't think it can get out, but that's besides the point. So this is a mod review. It is for the Functional Pottery Wheel by Mirai Mayanaka. I really hope I said that right. <laughs> and that's a functioning pottery wheel to your game. And lately, to my knowledge, there's been an update. And the update actually added a patch of dirt where you can actually collect clay, which is something I've been thinking about. So I'm really happy that they were able to produce that. It's something that I've actually thought of and wanted in my game. Especially because y'all know I like to play, I like to play my Sims a little medieval style. So anything that's kind of off the grid or built by hand, I like my Sims to have. So while I dive into it, I'm just gonna let Miss Magnus do her thing, do whatever she wants or correction, I'll tell her some things to do to get her started. So this mod adds a functioning, as I, <laughs> as I said, this mod adds a functioning pottery wheel. And to my understanding, it acts a lot like the woodworking bench. So it should be fairly simple. It does come with its own skill set. I think it goes up to level 10. And then there's certain points where you can sell your pottery to, I wanna say you can sell your pottery to collectors or you can sell them to the museum. I think, I don't know, actually I don't know which one gives you fame or if either of them give you fame. We'll have to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her start. I don't think she can actually do anything now that I think about it. Should we buy some supplies? Oh, let's, oh. Okay, well. I thought I could buy more. Am I only allowed to buy one at a time? Looks like I'm only allowed to buy one at a time. Which, if I'm being honest, doesn't make too much sense. Um, but, that's why we have these little piles of clay over here. I know it looks like they're, but it's clay. So I'm gonna actually let her get started on the pottery wheel. While we go over a few things. So, Excuse me. So the pottery wheel can be found on Mod the Sims. However, the piles of clay you have to get separately. I'll leave a link in the description for both of them, just you know, make it easier to find. But the pile of clay you actually have to go to the Patreon page, which is linked in the pottery wheel page. But I'll just leave both the links just to make it a little easier. Because again, because I'm really surprised this mod didn't get any particular coverage. Considering I watched some simmers uh, who like to do a lot of things that I do, like rags to riches, not really into the, the whole technology kind of vibe, kind of moving mo back to more... I wouldn't say ancient times, but simpler times. So she's just hacking at it. I do believe there are 10 levels. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And then we're gonna have her dig and get some more supplies. Now I don't know if once you dig it, it goes away. We'll just have to see. I do like that she's already level two and she's not even done with the plate. If only it worked that easy in real life. Oh, she's done. Alright. And I do believe you can make different things. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Sea blue plate. Excellent. Ooh, and it even gives you environment. Can I... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can become so cultured. Love it. Okay, so I said I was gonna have her dig for play. And we are gonna see. Now, 
before she does, I just want to say, if you do get the clay, the clay, <laughs> I do want to say, if you do get the clay portion, you have to enable the debugs menu. And if you don't know how to do that, look it up. I think it's BB dot show hidden objects. And I think that opens up the debug menu. I also think you probably have to enable testing cheats before, but either way, once you get the debug menu open and on, just search dirt pile and it should pop up with something along the line of dirt pile for clay or some, something along that dirt pile for, um, let me look at it because now it's going to bother me. Because I still have it on. Dirt pile for digging clay. There we go. And of course it is going to be free. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to just add one more because I like it. So keep that in mind. You do have to open the debug menu. In a way I wish you didn't, but I kind of understand. So she's just going to get in there and dig. <gasps> it doesn't go away, so that's good. Dig for clay. Let's keep digging. <laughs> now, from my understanding, you have... Oh, that clears it out. But at least you just need one, so this is... <laughs> I guess if I have more than one send that wants to do it, they can do it. But from my understanding, you have an opportunity... Where is clay? Is this... That's a lump of clay. So she's not getting anything? I thought you had an opportunity of either finding a foul fish or getting a lump of clay. Maybe... Let me... Let me delete these. And let's try that again. Because maybe because they were overlapping each other, ah. it was causing something weird to happen. But so far... Unless it's going into the family inventory. No, she still has just one lump of clay. I'll try again. Mm -hmm. Um, the art of pottery, that's just from making some pottery. And it does have its own buffs. And one of the things was, if your sim is tense, like say from stress from working, the pottery wheel, from my understanding, kind of helps them ease down and relax. So that could be a benefit. Alright, no, it's not. Unfortunately, it's not giving us any clay. I'll have to check and see maybe maybe something I'm not doing right. But it's not going to give us any clay. But it's not going to give us any clay. So let's just go ahead and purchase some more lumps of clay. I wish you could do it with the the actual clay that comes in game. Oh, that's nice. So you're paying like six dollars for a lump of clay instead of the actual price. And of course, as you get up higher, the price increases. Let's do a porcelain plate. That sounds fun. So unfortunately right now it looks like the digging for clay addition to this mod isn't working, but if this is something you're interested in, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. Because you never know when it's going to be updated. Ooh, Pottery lover. The more I create, the more I want to know everything about pottery. Go off. Well, let's do another one. Okay, this one looks like it's standing. Oh, that's nice. Now I actually have... Now I actually have something to put on my dressers. <laughs> I'm one of those simmers that never uses dressers, ever. Like, in my house, the dresser is the last thing that's ever placed. That's if I remember to place it. What is this? Oh. Just... 
Are you just you're just floating there, chilling? Well, I can eat it, but I can't do anything else. You know, it's funny. This save file has pretty much. It's funny. This save file only has. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. It's funny because this save file only has this mod in it right now. It doesn't have anything else in it. And it's the most glitchy out of all of my save files. Oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to do that one. Alright, more decor, more decor, I like it. Ooh, that seems a little close to the edge, that makes me nervous in real life. Ooh, that still makes me nervous. Yes, let's just keep it there. Okay, view focused work, put an in inventory, you can list things on Plopsy. Uh, and just like a painting, you can copy the creation. I can't sell it just yet, I think I can probably sell it in, yeah, I can sell it in my inventory. But I don't want to do that right now. So I'll just go ahead and let her keep working on it. And once she gets to a certain level, I think it's level 5. Is where we want to be. Because I think that's when you can start selling it out of your... So I think that's where you can start selling it to museums and you can also start selling it to private buyers just like a painting in the meanwhile I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> decorate my house because it's so cute oh, I can't put these anywhere it's a shame the small one takes up such a big spot I don't want to set it there that's okay and that'll be okay there. So once we get to a higher level, I'll hop back in here and we'll check it out. Yeah. Alright y'all, so she just uh, hit level 5. <laughs> Let's see... Huh. Can we... Know. Yes, we can huh. sell to the museum. I don't see that we can sell to private requests. But let's sell that to the museum. Can we sell the previous ones? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and sell that to the museum. So, silly me, while I was looking in here, I started to realize that previously I'd said, oh nice, it only takes one lump of clay. So... It's only six dollars if you buy the clay, but if you don't buy the clay, then it's eleven. So I thought that was really nice. And then, just to let you know, as the skill progress, you're gonna need more and more clay, from what I'm seeing. So it still trims off that little extra and helps you save some money. But honestly, since you can only buy one at a time, it's the higher up you get, the more inconvenient it is. So, I don't know, you do you, but I'm probably, once I get to needing five, I think three's, a, three's probably a bit for me. So for me, probably once it hits three is when I'm going to stop buying it individually and just accept and take, take the hit when my sims use this. But, this is super cute. It's also something that is definitely going to be going into my my saved games. Hmm. Especially my more medieval, out of an Eve type of games. So, which is pretty much all I play. So this uh, one's definitely staying. I'm going to uh, keep an uh -huh. eye on this and hope that it updates. Because I definitely would like to be able to dig for my own clay. And it's something that I've been wanting in my game for some time. 
Especially with the other pottery mod um, that was originally by Plastic Box, but I think that one has discontinued. But I know someone else has re-uploaded it, and I believe is keeping it up to date. But I don't think that could happen, because it does give you a different clay than the base game. And I think the other clay mod used the base game clay function. Clay item. But who knows, maybe in the future we'll get that? Uh, if not, I would just be happy if this actually worked for the clay. Maybe, again, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If I am, I'll leave it in the description box below. Uh, but for right now, I don't see that working at the moment. But this does. And it's super cute. But that's going to be it for this mod review. If you liked it, please like, hit the subscribe. I'm always interested in seeing your comments too, so if you have a mod that you want to be reviewed, just let me know, plop it down in the comments, I'll be checking. But until next time, I'll see y'all around. Bye!